Here are some reminders to help you get the most out of your Dive Math 6.5 CDs. First, work the problems with me. Work every practice problem that I work and write down everything that I write down. Remember too that my practice problems, they aren't the same as the practice problems in that particular lesson that you're doing. They're similar, but they're not the same. So if you need some extra practice, do the ones in the book as well. Next, pause and rewind until you understand. This is one of the things that makes doing a lesson on a CD so much better than a live classroom, is that you can rewind the teacher. You can just rewind and rewind until you understand a particular concept. So make sure and take advantage of that. Also, remember when you're working the practice problems, do a couple of them with me. Then if you think you understand how to do the next one, pause the CD, work it yourself, Fast forward to the answer. If you got it right, great. Go on to the next one. If you got it incorrect, rewind and see what you did wrong. You also need to make sure and do the facts practice, mental math, and problem solving section that's at the top of each lesson. Do one of those at least once per week. And those facts practice tests, you need to make at least a 90% or greater on those. Otherwise, you need to do them again. You should also time yourself on those facts practice tests and try to beat your previous time. Also remember to do all the problems in every problem set and also do all the tests that are in the test booklet and there are instructions in the test booklet as to when to take those tests. It's also important in Math 6.5 to show your work. You'll be learning lots of skills working with fractions and with division where you need to show your work or you'll get too confused about how to solve the problem. So make sure and show your work when you need to. Don't use a calculator though. You don't need a calculator at all in Math 6.5 so just leave it alone. And finally, have a good attitude. The best math program in the world won't make a bit of difference if you don't have a good hard-working attitude. Be thankful that you have a nice computer with speakers and a cool CD lesson to work on and to learn from. Not everybody has that advantage that you have. God has given you a great opportunity here to have an excellent education. And part of it is up to you as to your attitude and what you make of this opportunity. So work hard. Do your best to learn these lessons. And I know that God will bless you for that. Lesson 10 starts on page 39. It's titled Missing Add-ins. I think the best way to understand this is just to do some practice problems. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when you're doing these missing number problems, one thing to keep in mind is this is something you'll be doing in like high school level math in algebra. This is the very basics of a class called algebra. So it's a great idea to understand it now and to try hard to learn this the best that you can. And all you're doing here, look at practice problem A. 2 plus B equals 11. Anytime you see a letter there, a missing number, just think to yourself, what? Instead of saying 2 plus B equals 11, just think 2 plus what equals 11? Well, hopefully you know that 2 plus 9 equals 11, so that's the missing number there. And so what you want to say is that B equals 9. That's how you would write your answer. 2 plus what equals 11? Well, 9. 2 plus 9 equals 11. So B has to be equal to 9. Now, sometimes you'll have a little more complex problems than this. And what you want to do, and you'll notice this on all of them, you can take that answer, the sum, subtract it by the add-end that they give you. 11 minus 2. You're taking 2 away from 11. That equals 9. That's always going to equal your missing number. Take the sum, 11, subtract it from the add-end that they give you, and that will give you your missing number. So there's a little algorithm, some steps to help you solve the problem that I've given you there. Sum minus add-end equals missing number. You might want to write that down somewhere that you'll have it familiar so you can remember it for now until you've got it memorized. Sum minus add end equals the missing number. Let's try a little more difficult one. 33 plus H equals 95. Well now maybe you can do that in your head. Maybe you can look at that and think, oh well 62 plus 33 equals 95. If you can't, remember your algorithm, your steps to solve this problem. Take the sum, which is 95, Subtract from that 
the add-in that they give you. 5 minus 3 is 2, 9 minus 3 is 6. And so that answer would be 62. And so you'll write H equals 62. So the algorithm that, that I've given you, that's something to use when you're not sure, when you can't just do the problem in your head. And be careful about being lazy on these. If you don't know right away what the answer is, then go ahead and do that subtraction. Write it out on your paper. Take that extra time to do that. If you're missing these problems consistently in your homework and on your tests, that probably means you're not showing enough work. Look at this problem. 6 plus A plus 11 plus 10 equals 40. What you should do on problems like this is to simplify the left side. That means to add all those numbers together. And then that letter or the missing number, then you can figure it out. You'll be left with an add end and the missing number equals 40. So add all those numbers up first. And so let's add in pairs. 11 plus 10, that would be 21. And so we'll have 6 plus A. Remember, order doesn't matter in addition. So let's just rewrite that. A plus 6 plus 21. And that's going to equal A plus 27. And that equals 40. Now, maybe you already know, well, 13 plus 27 equals 40. If you didn't know that off the top of your head, go ahead and do the subtraction over to the side. You take the sum and then subtract the add end out from that. You'll need to borrow 1 from that 40 or borrow 10 from it. 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 13. And so A equals 13. So that one, there was a couple of more steps that we needed, needed to solve. We needed to just get the left side with one letter, that missing number, and then one add end. That makes it a whole lot easier to solve the problem. I mean, we could just sit there and look at it and think 6 plus what plus 11 plus 10 equals 40 and then try to do all that in our head. But it sure is a whole lot easier to add those three numbers up to 27. And it makes it a whole lot easier to see, oh, 13 plus 27 is 40. Well, that's all for Lesson 10. Make sure you do Investigation 1 on Story Problems next.